His Majesty King Hamid bin Isa Al Khalifa sent a cable of condolences to Egypt's President Adul Fattah Al Sisi on the assassination of Attorney General Hisham Barakat in a terrorist attack which also left a number of injured members of his convoy. His Majesty the King expressed his condemnation of the terrorist act, which is contrary to tolerant Islamic principles, morals, and humanitarian values. He stressed his denunciation of all forms of terrorism and vandalism. His Majesty the King affirmed Bahrain's support for all measures Egypt may find necessary to counter terrorism, extending sincere sympathy to Egypt's president, people and the family of the deceased, wishing the injured a fast recovery. His Majesty King Hamid bin Isa Al Khalifa received at Suhir Palace yesterday evening well wishes from the Southern Governor on the occasion of the holy month of Ramadan. As part of the meetings, His Majesty the King is keen to hold with citizens. The audience congratulated His Majesty on the occasion, wishing him many happy returns and for Bahrain further progress, prosperity, safety and security under his wise leadership. They also thanked him for his care for the Southern Governorate, which is witnessed through establishing numerous development projects, reiterating loyalty and support to the leadership of His Majesty the King. His Majesty, meanwhile, welcomed the audience and congratulated them on the Holy Month, which is a month of mercy in which communication and solidarity is reinforced amongst the people. He thanked them, wishing them continued success and for Bahrain safety and stability.
Mr Khalid al Buenin then delivered a speech on behalf of the people of the Southern Governorate in which he expressed pleasure in meeting His Majesty the King, congratulating him on the holy month of Ramadan. He hailed the development and urbanisation which has been achieved thanks to the guidance of His Majesty, confirming that Bahrain will remain an oasis for tolerance, peace and security for its citizens and residents. He stressed the pride of the people of Bahrain for its leadership, which has reinforced the principles of dignity and humanitarian values, saying that it has become a national duty to preserve gains and achievements, regardless of all differences in the face of extremism and terrorism. Mr. Muhammad al Arjani recited a poem in honor of His Majesty the King. Bismillah, to Akana Allah. Lishir Gaba Mandakalha Matala Minha Salim. Wishar in Makam Mubdi Shir, Walla Masala. Dahaltaha Ganas, Wal Ibda Gidami Girim, Walla Dahalt, Lagosidi Gos, Wabiati Sahem, Waha Ana Amamakum. والشعر لعيوني نديم مرسل قصيدة وإن سألت من يكون المستلم حمد بن عيسى بن سلمان قائدنا الحكيم تفاخروا يا شعبنا باسمه ورفرف يا علم مشكورين إخوان على الكلمة الطيبة نهنيكم الشهر الكريم إن شاء الله يعود عليكم وعلى الجميع بالخير وبكل المحبة إن شاء الله على كل حال احنا سعيدين بشوفكم اليوم احنا اهل وجماعة واحدة تاريخنا وحاضرنا ومستقبلنا واحد ما في اختلاف ومواقفكم اثبتت القوة الوطنية والصلابة بالله الحمد هذا ما يسر الصديق وهذا المهم على كل حال شهر مبارك مرة أخرى كل عام وأنتم بخير إن شاء الله. The Southern Governor then presented His Majesty the King with a commemorative gift. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa sent a cable of condolences to Egypt's President Adil Fattah Al Sisi on the assassination of Attorney General Hisham Barakat in a terrorist attack which also resulted in the injuring of a number of members of his convoy. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister extended his deepest condolences to the family of the deceased and wished the injured fast recoveries. His Royal Highness also sent a similar cable to his Egyptian counterpart, Ibrahim Mahlab. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, confirmed at the reception of religious figures, scholars and scores of citizens today at Gudabiya Palace that what His Majesty the King has achieved for the people and the country cannot be denied. His Royal Highness said that His Majesty the King established an institutional system that made the Bahraini citizen an essential partner in the political decision-making process. His Royal Highness added that Bahrain is an example of national unity and coexistence, which is a source of the kingdom's strength. He called on enhancing cohesion to strengthen the country and overcome any disturbances.
He pointed out that Bahrain succeeded in welcoming everyone regardless of their intellectual, sectarian or political differences. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister confirmed that the region, including Bahrain, is facing a critical situation in which it is fighting extremism, destructive ideology and terrorism. He pointed out that the only way to confront these misguided acts is through cooperation and national unity. The Prime Minister warned of the dangers of extremism and terrorism which harm society and highlighted the responsibility of religious figures and scholars to be advocates of peace and coexistence. He stressed that religious preachers must reject violence and call for the commitment to the tolerant teachings of Islam. The meeting discussed government efforts to upgrade the living standards of the people during which His Royal Highness confirmed that it is his top priority and responsibility to ensure the well-being of the people of Bahrain and maintain the gains of the country and to further develop them. The audience commended His Royal Highness's stances in supporting the people of Bahrain and praised his keenness to meet the citizens, listen to their matters and motivate them to express their aspiration and visions.
His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa sent a cable of condolences to Egypt's President Adel Fattah Al Sisi on the assassination of Attorney General Hisham Barakat in a terrorist attack which also resulted in a number of members of his convoy being injured. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince extended earnest sympathies to the family of the deceased and wished the injured a speedy recovery. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, accompanied by His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Salman Al Khalifa, visited the Majlis of His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, the Majlis of the Sons of the late Abdul Hamid Abdul Jabbar Al Kohiji, the Majlis of the late Ghazi bin Abdul Rahman Suhail Al Gusebi, and the Majlis of the Kohiji family yesterday. His Royal Highness highlighted Bahrain's long standing track record of embracing religious and cultural diversity and emphasized that this commitment is underpinned by His Majesty King Hamid's role in reinforcing the principles of unity and tolerance within Bahrain's communities. In this regard, His Royal Highness underlined the importance of continuing to unite against threats which seek to undermine regional security. His Royal Highness highlighted the contribution of Bahrain's business community and entrepreneurs to the Kingdom's economic development and emphasised their role in supporting the Kingdom's programme of sustainable development. The hosts and guests of the Majlises expressed their gratitude for His Royal Highness's visit and highlighted his ongoing and wide-ranging engagement with Bahrain's citizens and families.
The Speaker of the Representatives Council, Ahmed Al Muller, chaired the Council's weekly meeting today in which the Council approved a draft law regarding an agreement between Bahrain and Cyprus regarding the avoidance of double taxation and taxes related to income, according to Edict 45 of 2015. The Council also decided to convene next Thursday in order to discuss the report of the Financial and Economic Affairs Committee regarding the general state budget for the years 2015 and 2016. The Council also agreed on the report of the Public Utilities and Environment Committee regarding MP suggestions to regulate the fishing profession and utilise marine resources and decided to refer the proposal to the Government. Bahrain's Ministry of Foreign Affairs welcomed the announcement of the United States Department of State confirming that the hold on the sale of military items to the Kingdom's armed forces has been lifted. In a statement, the Ministry of Foreign Affairs said the decision was the right one and was a reflection of the depth and strength of the ties that exist between Bahrain and the United States. As recognised by the State Department, the Kingdom has implemented wide-ranging reforms and remains committed to enhancing accountability and transparency and safeguarding individual rights and justice. The Kingdom is also committed to the long-term safety of its citizens and to those of its GCC neighbours. The statement also reiterated the Kingdom's keenness on further enhancing the ongoing security partnership with the United States as Bahrain continues to counter the mounting threat posed by terrorism and extremism throughout the region.